birds gain wings. Oh, the instead I thought will bring the noble deeds thine honor sing. Brave man slain, Valkyrie away. Reward for strain to Valhall takes. Then horns resounds the mighty hall for those who fight, for those who fall. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birnheim Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the Corpse Hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at a break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. You are Birna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush. Losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It is good to have you in this fight, Birna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. Galen, is that right? That's right. 
You are Eivor, the infinite fighter, a forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. The day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. The day is new, and the air is brazen. Ding. Are you ready? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. Sigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What have we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, heathen. 
I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigman! Wigman! Let's try one final time! Quit Grant Bridge! And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life! Ha! I command Grant Bridge! I am master here! And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound! Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire! The guards here. Now! Dangs of Rambridgeshire! We check what's your... Look at Grand Bridge. What has Whitman done to you? No time for that. We must free her first. We'll surely find him there. Your side, Soma. <laughs> Raise your blade to me. Fuck. 
fucking try it! The waters have calmed here. Go on. I weather the loss of these whelps. You'll never survive! Get behind if you can! Ah! <laughs> Forever. Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! Your plague-ridden body feed my fields. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Argar coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city.
Ah. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift, for retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. trail of yellow paint drops.
Someone hauled this bucket of yellow paint all the way down to the riverbank. They quickly painted a longship beached here. Then they sailed off with allies to help crew the vessel. The markets are up and running again, so Ma doesn't waste time. This could help you in your travels. Like you're expecting trouble. This could be very useful. to replenish your stock. Yes, this is a good look. All done. I'm off. You, Dane, come closer. What do you want? You look to be a good fighter, but do you dare to face the greatest battle you will ever know? Of what do you speak? I speak of a terrible and monstrous incorporeal power whose name is feared across these lands. Fergal the Faceless, the most fearsome flighter in all of Grantbridgeshire. Ooh. Ooh. A flighter, is that all? Fergal the Faceless has silenced doubters before. Will you challenge him? I will face 
the Faceless. <gasps> My god. You are braver than most. Or perhaps more foolish. Come, I will give you a key. This key unlocks Fergal's lair, which you see now before you. That's a house. No, no. It is a den of nightmares. A pit of death from which few have ever escaped unharmed. By words. Unharmed by words. Go. Go now. And God be with you. A new victim? What fool dares to challenge the might of Fergal the Faceless? Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor of the Raven Clan? My next meal. Are you prepared to be eviscerated with words? I think I will survive. I am Fergal the Faceless, and I am clever and strong. But you're not. You're ugly and weak, and you're a big smelly coward. You're probably too scared to even face me, now that I think about it. Sorry, have you started? Yes, obviously. I said you're probably too scared to face me. It's the weakest attempt I've yet heard to disgrace me. Ah, you think you can win with rhyme, do you? Well, if you like to rhyme, listen this time. I'm very brave. My flighting is grave. I'm not a knave, and it's victory that I really crave. Your tongue is fat. You're a sprat. You whine like a little brat. And we are in a spat. All my life, I've not heard of a flighting so flat. Oh, you've made a terrible mistake. Be ready for my finishing blow. I am the best at flighting. I have got powerful skills. I'm strong as an ox and clever as a fox. I'm sharp as a dozen hawks. Let me show you my skills, and then you I shall kill dead with my... my skill. You can stop stumbling over your verses. I've already had more than my fill. You... Uh, well... I... Uh, just one moment. I, I... I need to think. Give me time. Fergal the Faceless or Fergal the Wordless? No, you get ready. The killing blow is... It's coming. It's... Fergal? Hello?
can swill with the best. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. All in. Skull. Ha! We drink. You're going to start. Soma is just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us ill luck. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating. Like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter and faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer. Taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me, naked and alone in the fence. 
She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. Then Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another. Tightly. I know I can seem distant. Obsessed. But the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others? Leif and Birna? Leif? He's a talented sailor. If a little... enthusiastic. And Birna? Well... Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck. Making a living on lies. Birna is part of my clan. And I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips blaze, Eivor. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. Curse visited upon them all. Leave no house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For licking Eldam and Whitman's boots.
Ah, the smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple. No. Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the West. 
Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer, to the west. Yes, we call him the Hammer, and his apples are fine. Have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. The cart busted. Oh, me apple cart hath fallen! These apples must be eaten. They're too juicy to be left to rot. Oh, eternal thanks for carrying the crate. I'll be happy to share in the bounty of these apples with you, once we meet up with your friend. Oh, surely. We will share the Lord's work with you. The iron tinge, you will taste it. We all have earned it after fasting. Fasting? Is that when you lack food for your god? Yes, we show our devotion, remove distraction. But now, we give in to the fruits of our Creator's work. Sharing an apple with a friend is the most sublime experience. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is nice to sometimes sit back and simply enjoy an apple. Well, with our fortune always changing in life, it's important to enjoy simple pleasures. <laughs> oh, I am so excited for you to see my friend and eat apples with us. The act of walking, the pilgrimage we're going on. We will prostrate ourselves for Guthlak at the end of this glorious pilgrimage. Drown in his reward. Ah. Here we are, our tiny sanctuary. Join in prayer for the apples, if you like. We bob. Bob? It is the only way to piously reap the reward of our Holy Father. Praise be to him. Oh, Brother Holtwolf! And you've made a friend as well. Good to have you back. Adhere lumbare ad curure de.
I'm in your day.
damn coward! With me, here! Thank you! Two, brother. Fellow adventurer, need to know the lie of the land? There is the matter of my fee. All right. Look here. The spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know.
hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life left in someone long dead. No, it's the fumes in the body. Odors grow after a killing, so they have to escape by any means they can. Eivor, my muscle banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. I should be cautious. You'd lose your elbow before the bruise is showed. And Ragnarok's end, and these Saxons still don't see you. Not everyone is so fox eared as you. More's the pit.
You're light on your feet and quick through the grass. Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned young. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had. That's all of them. Ah, you fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge.
I built the silo and manage our trade deals. All the barley would rot if you were still in charge. Oh, don't spew hog shit. We both know it's because you're jealous. The barley in that silo was watered by my blood and sweat. Yes, and you get your share of silver when I sell it. But you keep most of it. Of the thousand you made last month, I got a measly two hundred. I deserve the extra profit. I secured the sale and managed the tax. Endless hours of negotiating. You there, Dane. Who deserves more? The worker who makes the barley, or he who actually sells it? The man who plants the seeds merits all the price. And a greater share of silver. This thing speaks nonsense! No, no, I appreciate a stranger understanding injustice. More silver should line my pockets for my hard work. I will let you drink my famous ale from my famous barley, Sebi's Slush, they call it in town. They do. Oh, the situation is strained door. between these two brothers. Boring oh, as bricks around here. the way. Oh my goodness! Our estate is aflame! Children, has your family always been this quarrelsome? Yes, they have. But I hope that has changed thanks to your intervention. Even if it was drastic. Thank you. Oh, I can smell it burn. You will. Oh God. They will be blinded by profit and ego.
I shall inform the local Waffingas that he lives among them through traces of the Nephilim, the giant warriors who fought for God in their ancient time. They have left his presence here on Earth for us to absorb his light, the light of angels that have been infused. is working. Blows as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leaf. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. Hello. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paints some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leaf. Now let's take down Wickman's men. Too right, too right. 
Rickman's whelp awaits his reward. My... The Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Is that a bottomless stomach, I see? Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Let's see the shimmer of your silver, friend. Bend the whole horde, huh? Ready your cup! priest is in the church.
with me here. <laughs> Priest's lies will not poison the Shire anymore. We should leave. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. wallop is like none other. All it takes is one. His fist is a glorious basher of fools, full of great big scars and old dried blood. <laughs> one day I'm gonna be as strong as grandfather. I'll wallop the heads off oxen. He uses his powerful wallop to protect us. Oh, his legend grows with every day. Wallop is like none other. Oh, such a fine wallop it is! Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom! Like a wolf, howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Huh, good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping! Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are a drenger, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around a hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. Your calm demeanor even more so. Oh, I beg you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop saying such things. I do not want to use it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. That's enough! Yeah. Don't say I didn't warn you. The disappointment you will feel, I also feel. Down you go. <gasps> I've never been bested before. I'm shocked. Stunned. I never thought it possible. You have thwarted my wallop. You may have access to the treasure my wallop has sadly gifted me over the years. Various awards for bashing skulls. 
Oh, I feel liberated of my legacy. Now I can live the normal life that has forever eluded me. Thank the heavens! The treasure he promised. His wallop won him an ocean of riches. Mm. The children kept the collection of those he had walloped. What can I get for you? You never know when this might come in handy. Wise of you to stock up. This could be very useful. You always bring the strangest things. Fini I must be on my way now. Goodbye. You'll get nothing out of me.
Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Stomach and a powerful thirst. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely, hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack, but I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So, what have you learned? I already know who I suspect. Your instinct must be strong if you're so quick to choose. So who is the traitor? I need more time to th Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. Think you can swill with them. Did you find enough clues around Grandbridge Shire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Birna used to be a smuggler. Hardly an honorable life. There is honor among even the lowliest of men. Danes know that better than most. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Leif disagrees with how you run Grandbridge. This city thrives under me, as a bustling port for his longships, for instance. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. I found an empty barrel of yellow paint beside a longboat launch. Yellow paint was used to mark a boat the night of the attack. An odd time for a fresh coat of paint. But that's his work, is it not? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. Gallen puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape, and Gallen sees an important meaning. Gallen told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? 
I found Galen's longboat painted hastily with yellow paint on the day of the attack. Why would he mark his longboat differently from the rest of ours? That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Come on, I need the challenger! How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen, you have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder, and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. I'll take on all comers!
traitor is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Let's go hooded here. going on. What's that about? moment. She 
means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad to see you. We should return to camp, before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust, that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me, and my clan so The end of the storm is... Well. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see... Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. I'd have done the same in your position. That is calming to hear. Which reminds me. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Yalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon.
Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grantbridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. And look at this. Who would it? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. 
There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Good day! Easy then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. <laughs> Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Eivor, are you well? Eivor! Speak! Oh dear, this is not how I foresaw things. Not at all. Dear God, Basim will have my head for this. Ha! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor, a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, 
It is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose, Lina. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranvi about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this.
I must... See you later, A4. Nonsense! It is not that complicated! You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the you animals really here are healthy and populous. The wolves are a worry. Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved on. I think it Humans upset the balance of nature, clever. and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look, the wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails, they must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass?
this is the Pax doing? Not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover! Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. <laughs> I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. <laughs> See you soon.
specs. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Wake! Soldiers at our door! They've come for you! For us! Let them take me! I have no more fear! Let me air my wrath in the courts! They'll kill you before they let you speak! I'll appeal to the council! They must know what the Mad One has done! They're upon us! Now is not the time! I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Here it comes.
Nice to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes? Or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letterchestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton. ...to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia... ...with the hope of installing a King of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarssons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Spot. You're just in time for new stock. We have talked so little since our first days, Janli. And I know nothing about you. How did you come to live in England? I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here, for no real reason. Curiosity, I suppose. It is not an exotic story. A young woman, excited by the prospect of travel, granted passage on a trading boat. Do you miss your home? Yes, often. I intend to return one day, or perhaps coax some friends and family to join me here. But I am in no hurry. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh, oh I should soon have a few spices from the East to add to our feasts. As much as I love your hospitality, your food is... Mm. Well, you are doing your best. May I see your stores? I'm practically giving it away. There's always more where that came from.
Only a fool. Done shopping for... I'll see you late. Until next time, Eivor. Thanks for the good work, Eivor. Got a real little fishery going here. Are you the man in charge? It's my grandfather, really. But he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working. Besides, between you and me, I'm better at it. More of a people person, you know? I do. It's good to have you. Both of you. I have something that may interest you. Thanks, Eivor! I have to go. See you soon. Goodbye! Good day! A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, oh, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes. Vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child? My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life. But most likely, I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mineral. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day.
This is perfect, Eivor. You really are a generous one. An arrival. I wonder if Valk is among them. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Accelerating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Volka! Godzebo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whale bow, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.
benevolence. This land bears deep affliction. Good. The land breathes once more. Cautious around here.
to get on the other side.
side must be barred. Attention here.
there lieth still more remnants of the Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones, that future folk may imbue their spirit with the energy within. For those who wish to seek communion with the Lord here, be you wary, for he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars brought by the giants of yore, now guarding us, as only he knows. Amen. bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be highly coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I have not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful.
lichen for the alchemist's elixir. Go, Sunan. Needed from the bear. Here, I have brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get back out. I should return to the alchemist, see if he knows what happened.
You, alchemist. What happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking, I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers on the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking.
I should be cautious around here.
must be going now. Your life ends now. That song. You have spent some days on a long ship. Oh, many. <laughs> See this salt blasted hair? The talk of pummeling over the years. All that seawater. Feels like hay now. Better keep away from the horses then. <laughs> you are very quick and sturdy by the looks of you. But you are not from that Ragnarsson camp there in Repton. I would have recognized you. I belong to another clan. What are you doing away from yours? I have been cast out. Too old, too frail. Dead weight, as they say. I will have to get used to watching the sights of war from afar now. No shame in that. Not many of us can say they lived long enough to simply retire. You have earned it. But have I? Or have I missed my chance? I thought I knew what lay ahead, but now that is foreign to me. Embrace it. Sail the seas. Write your songs and bellow out on the winds. Sounds nice to me. You are far too young to speak so wise. There is a bright future for you and your clan. I would like to add to it. Take this key. And if you find yourself in Repton, seek out my quarters near the docks. There is a large tree out front. Inside you will find a few of my most prized items. Take them. I no longer have any need. You honor me. Call it a gift from the old guard to the new. Odin, guide your way, young drinker. I should keep an eye out for this old raider's home if I ever have a Repton. Repton. Secret should be here with the Regnasons. The army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Okay. 
Pantaros. And then so I I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a braggart will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Ulf. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of bursts. You're the weakest of wordsmiths, a terrible bore. Your clumsy flighting is the real bore here. A sad, sad attempt. I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. This could come in very handy. Take care of yourself out there. You should always be fully stocked. You look so strong and powerful. Buying these because I like you. I hope I have to go. Hey! <gasps> 
Raider's place. He said he wanted me to have his things. on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales told by drunken heroes. These are some trinkets you left behind, old man. Ah, you've come back. Why are you wasting your time with me? This crate has all of your written songs. This is not a gift I can accept or repay. You'll want to revisit these someday. They should stay with you. I had forgotten all about them. Something to work at on this new journey of mine. You have only the setting sun to tell you when to stop. And maybe not even then. That is twice you have earned my admiration. Please, tell me your name. Eivor. Eivor. If the gods will it, I will find my seat at Odin's table before you. And there I will speak of you so that when the time comes to claim your seat, they will greet you by name. Farewell.
Are you Sigurd Stranger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and breaking of piss. <laughs> Saxon piggy to run amok to the mercy in fields. <laughs> What do you call this place? I call it the ship. It all. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunge your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. 
Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgrins. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Hacking over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Jailwolf, come morning the Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! Oh, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here.
Southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields, and Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together, thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of Man war. Does not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Chailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. Safe a place for a traitor and he's son. In the middle of a pack of days. Say from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to help. Fears are with us. The common folk. Burgred <laughs> still has his soldiers, all of them. They're devoted to him. And they'll die defending him. <laughs> Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. You tried to... Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. 
Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold. I... He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harold is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Gilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge, as easily as if he might hand over a barrel of mead. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust, the prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. Our words and yours is quite something, as if we were dis... Yeah. <laughs> A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? My prices are competitive. All right. Right. Let me show you something on your map.
you, speedy hare. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. Stand aside and let me in. I'll have no qualms wiping clean that grin. You'll be less pale, more black and blue, and none shall care for the likes of you. Oh, God, a poet just like me. Yes, yes, your entry will be free. Now ball your fists and step right in. There's fun to be had and bones broken. Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. Please line. Watching you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You move just like a noodle. My favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. For more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid firing Dane, Bola of Kent. I know a good ch Again, mm. ready for more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB. such a fight. You wallop me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. I am honored, I think. Go on now, carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell.
Attack on sight here.
leather. Don't nod off now.
lost my touch. Am I cursed? I... I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Or fool. That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. You know what you're doing, but you don't. What's this? What do I have to do? Am I cursed? I... I just can't get it right. Stupid. You're stupid. Or fool. That's what it is. You think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Mm. Smells good. Oh, please. I'm irritated enough already. The last thing I need is someone lying to my face. It is a compliment, Saxon. Take it. What are you brewing, anyway? I call it Leicestershire sauce. That is a mouthful. What is wrong with it? It doesn't come close to meriting such a sizable name. That's what's wrong with it. And I've tried. Lord, have I tried. But I cannot, for the life of me, strike the perfect balance. I should just give up. As I look around, that is hard to argue. You wouldn't happen to be carrying a needle, would you? Not the first thing I grab when I set off for the day, no. I've fished everything in Leicester, but the eel. And you think this elusive river snake could be the answer to your sauce woes? There's only one way to know for sure. All right, if I wrangle one, I shall bring it to you. Yes, please. I must try, if only to rule it out. Thank you. Lots of hungry fish here.
Try it yourself, Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you.
Night. I will enter the camp alone. We will not leave you, Editha, no matter the danger, no matter the risks. We do oh. this together or not at all. We will leave and Don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under God's roof? Take what you want, heathen. Just leave us be. You must be the abbess here. Why do you hide in the musky old church? We are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier, fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below, and I am not leaving without it. Dangerous endeavor for three sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You're gonna bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <sighs> It just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crosier back. You would help us? Mercian soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. Strict. How long since you fled the ministry? Must be... We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Leatherchester, whether it is Burgred on the throne. None taken. This is the camp. One of them has my crozier. This place is heavily guarded.
The Abyss's crow's here should be somewhere in this camp. <laughs> Unlike any sisters I have seen. Bare fisting armed men like that. Your time is We are nearly there. Lincolnshire is on the other side. Today, devils, not today. Let's cross, sisters. No, I've seen everything. enough. Sisters, gather around. Let us pray to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. You're close here. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There is truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. See me, this will get messy.
Oye fe igualdada. No es bueno. Good lads. Scared those wenches right off. Won't be seeing them around anymore. Huh. I'll say. Bloody hags. Loser is arrow. It's loser son of flash with it. Loser is son of flash with it. It's Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Yes! Oh, more! More viper eggs! Oh, that's much better! Getting closer now. I can feel it! More eggs! More! Uh. <laughs> oh, yes! <sighs> oh, I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Ugh, my reward, before I choke to death. <coughs> As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. <coughs> <laughs>
Ik dacht beter hunders te This area is off limits.
Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofric? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> <laughs> Norse, Dane... Dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're okay. ready to march. Okay. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around a battering ram. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. <laughs> Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Light my way. Spirits torment this land.
For a worthy challenger. Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendship's end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the match begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Soldiers, lead the king to me.
weakling! Slug the idiot! Press hard! Jesus, guide my blows! It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Cheowulf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Atheling. Where was the son of our king? Gilbert was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, eh? Big and bold. Seems Leofred is at odds with his king, but bound to duty. A loyal man. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. 
She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. You must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. I know. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Ivar from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? 
We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for men and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring her axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. Mental. This is your challenge. Come now, don't drag your feet. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Sheowulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount and maybe Sheowulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know, not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. No closer, please. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Let Estre and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Ledechest is a large village. And Templebroch. It's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkrit now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledechester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon.
Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templebrach? No. And if Burgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Brock! Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? 
church is well guarded. Keep it up, lads. Every little bit helps. The farmers are starting to push back. Then kindly remind them of their duty to Mercia and to their king. You heard Leia, Frith? This must be the bathhouse. We need to find a way inside. lost your mind. I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Evi's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife. The Lady Arvel's with. She's in Templebro. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva. Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Let's take him! Where? 
there. Stay close to me. What do I do? Fight, man, fight. Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. It would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobert could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Eva who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burgred's lady Arthur's wed is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows.
Let's go. Must row in these waters. Can't raise the sail here. Sail here. We can race the sail in these waters. We can continue. Better than you'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. Ava, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Berger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with... They must have separated off to Tomworth. I heard as much from Chaelbert in Lerichester. Chaelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I send him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adel's will. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching Adel's with. Oh, then guide you. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a fire. Or we can take a lunch. I'm beside you, Ah, oh, I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. To draw attention I am here. right where I wish to be. As am I, brother.
We should keep our wits about us. Cross you. That's good. Stop. Two, brother. the advantage.
Soldiers' barracks. Others with might be here. Hard to get through that door without being seen. You three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Aver? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Ethel Swift. Chet Walla Edmund shall bring us a fit to a hammer. Ella Sijine be Jervet or Meta.
from me. My husband will send you all to hell. Ooh. Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? <laughs> I regret... After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, Pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia. My husband will send you all to hell. <laughs> you're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. Who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Stop what you are doing at once! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Lady Otherswith, you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why, the cat, Aver? She is as much a poet as you. Where's my Catelyn? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her... I will inform Cheowulf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go.
Your turn. She won't talk to me. Aver will handle it. Go on. You've exhausted my friend Abba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkett's hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> my husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise? Knowing that even his closest friends could betray him. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I don't care how you feel about Cheowulf, but he'll be king. It's only a matter of when. Borgred is king. Elected by the Witten and anointed by God. My lady, I know what the losing side looks like, and you're on it. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Leicester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borbred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Cheols of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! Pigs have to eat, my lady. The trouble is, it takes a lot to sate their hunger. Only a matter of time before they finish those and sniff around for fresher meat. And the smell of pig shit after this? Ooh. My... my god! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? Others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Cheol's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south, where the Alni and Arrow rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom.
Troll curse corruption lurks here. Easy now. Something's not right. <coughs> Need to be careful here. Gods be God for a musty crypt. It cannot be. I'll kill you! down here. Must be getting close. No, no, it can't! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! Ugh. <sighs> 
Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. this thing. on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia. To the victor the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Same for me. I have made damn sure of that. 
The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zalit? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a land to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. <laughs> you there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you boneless? Some backcraft I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Reknason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. did myself again. <sighs> did I miss the crowning? Shoulder, 
Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown. And this pagan-infested kingdom, and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... Uh. You fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it... Yes! Yes! Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me! I beg of you! Please! I'll go anywhere! Here! I, 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 I resign it! Here! Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Cherwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid, loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Evo, you must save my son. He'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheowulf. Go.
breached the walls. I must find Shellbeard. Outside of Leofi, fleeing across the river. He was chasing something. It has to be Chelbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mud sink. Get busy. Beard. He's in trouble. I won't back down, Leofrith. Please! You do not want to do this. Leofrith, let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofric. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I am still standing. You're slowing. Ah. You're a strong-willed thing. Burkrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercer is my duty. I will die before I yield. You're finished. Not yet. Fight me, heathen. To your guard? Or your king? I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I thought. I lost. We both know how this goes. Him betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his guard and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose.
truth or glory? Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgeret is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chilbert. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. <laughs> I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. You were right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Burnt. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was 
away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse in Theobald? Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. And should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Abba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Now then, Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. I need your eyes, my friend. There. That's the statue the Zealots use. Nothing but smoke and ashes now. That should get those salads off my back.
Prayed on the St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned.
My battle kennings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan roads. The iron throng. The lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Run up the stairs! me out. I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth.
should speak with Hytham. What have you got for me today? I'll see you later. Until next we meet.
Here. This marks few members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. This is fine work, really. Thank you for seeing this done. I would like to see what you have in stock. Let me update your map with this. Done for now? I must take my... Be safe out there. like a That's all a good army need. Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lit Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not
At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Sheolbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dak. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan. The best of friends and fighters! To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. <laughs> with me! There's nothing for you here but death!
as they claim. We will pick its bones. You will meet on. You will meet only death there. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy's earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him, we will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map.
Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. What is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. It's luck he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Over there. He may have stayed somewhere nearby. If he did, he left traces. belong to Wallace. Why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us.
Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and familiar sourness. Can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The White Elk. The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? As sure as I see you now. Petra, where are you? Come! Petra! Hello! Mimir, guide me. Have I lost her too? What do you see? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I am sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Evil back to Sutunger's Hall. What have you done with Petra? <laughs> 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 Talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Eivor, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrion further. Oh, yes. 
Sorry. Now come! I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I met your old friend the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited! For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here. Eivor, come on! I'm up here. Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, no! Too far! Too far! <laughs> Amazing! You did it! Just like your Soonan! And not a scratch on you! Now let's go! Wallace should be over there! Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one! I believe so! We should ask the rabbits! They will know something! Of course! The rabbits! We've been here before! This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. Good day, Squirt. I hope I'm not intruding, but... Have you seen my brother Wallace? Mom! This one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra! Hurry! around here. Hmm, I see, I see. Thank you for your help. Hey, more look! The elk has returned! There! Do you see it? The white elk leading us to Wallace. Just come on, Eivor, chase the elk! with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission.
Let the sail out! Yeah. Dark spirits rule the ethers.
I should not be seen in this area. I wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really.
going to bleed. Decomposition for you. Hold on, good stuff.
strike my blows. Come, help me with this. moment.
me strength. Give not these men their trespasses. Send them instead to the same hell they brought upon our land. Did you kill these men? These defilers killed themselves by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. Stand down, Saxon! I mean no harm! When you hit the ground! Tell me again, what did your god say about me? My god names you the crow eyed devil. <laughs> and he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. <laughs>
Bex, I found another anomaly. Is that what we're calling them? And another data packet. Should I get it? If it's anything like the last one, absolutely. Serum. This is all we can manage. I am not 
bask in the mud one. Mm-hmm. Asking for the serum. Thank you for it. She would not listen. And I would sooner see our world obliterated before I gave that man a view of me on my knees. Hey, are you two hearing the same voice as I'm hearing? Not sure what you mean. It's all quiet on our end. Damn it. Well, I'm at the second packet. You ready? I'm ready. I got the data. Sending it now. This area is off limits.
barred.
Monica! <laughs> Sia, please. We'll die without blood meat. What troubles you, friend? Why won't the Sia answer your call? I know not. But without her drafts, my family is doomed. Grace, Freya, but please, show me a sign. You have my thanks, kind one. Your wounds are grave. Should you not rest in bed? I'll carry you home. It is no wound, but the blood is mine. I made the potion, Freya's blessing, to help the crops grow. Blood meat. Good. You know of it. From my pain, life springs. Ah, uh, please, help me to the clearing. The field needs the blood meat. There's a farmer at your house who needs it as well. She waits desperately for your return. Oh no. But my fields. If I fail in my task, the harvest is doomed. Please, bring me to the next bloodstone. Seer. The pain surges. But I must finish the ritual. I could take her to the next bloodstone. She could finish the ride. Or I could bring her back to her house, where the farmer waits. Sia, please. We'll die without blood meat. Oh, the Sia. Is she well? Rada. My blood and pain are the will of Freya and Freyr. Speak now. What do you need of me? Seer, my crops wither and my family starves. Harvest comes soon, yet our fields remain barren. I know your land suffers, Radha. Take the rest of my blood meat and water your soil. All will be well in a few days. Thank you, blessed Seer. I will see to my fields at once. <laughs> Thank you. You are both welcome to any good crops my farm will produce. Look for me at my farm in a few days.
I should not be seen in this area.
strong, foul, cursed. Good. The land breathes once more. My eyes soon. The statue has three large slits. Something may fit here. A knife or a dagger. The statue has three...
cautious around here. Know the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll rise in his stead.
Easy, girl. <laughs> nice summoning work. Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Esther the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye. Next time, summon a bridge. If Father was still alive, he would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skin Folly? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nelly, come back, you sneak! Here, little one. Hey! Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah. Ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. spider. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider.
Think you can swill with the best? Ah, a thirsty foe! Down it faster than me, and you are the victor! Got a wager in you! Put your silver on the barrel! All in! Skull! Man your horn! can I tempt you with? Always good to have.
These will come in very handy. This could come in very handy. Thank you. Leap. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. What? What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? <sighs> you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, He'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Feathers for a king slain. Touch not that throne! It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. <laughs>
such exquisite fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. These arrows are very... How dare you touch those sacred arrows! You've desecrated a martyr's place! Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Raven clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. Whoever would say that certainly isn't right. They're right. You are awful at this. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear, unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips.
It wasn't... I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane... a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong... Hold up. I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Guards here are vigilant. That's all wobbly with glee. I never knew you as a man given to verse. Ah, their little worries, their little lives. They mean nothing. Oh.
That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Survey the area soon. The nets are well set. You have stocks for a hundred moons. You will live a long and hearty life. But father, you are not too ill to stay. But I am. The weavers have sent me many portents. I am only await a proper death till... Only await a proper death till the family acts of honor passes to you. <laughs> <laughs>
Best not to draw attention here. No chance! on who gets the kill?
What? Black spirits torment this land. Later on the air.
come farther. This way. I am here. I am here. Look, I've made this myself. My tallest can yet. Oh, yes. Your mother said you had taken swiftly to the stack of stones. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. Watch! <gasps> <laughs> A burst of blue air that blows to rival Njord's noisy belches. Well made, Eivor. But know this. Height is not the only trait of a cairn's beauty. Shape, balance, and expression are key. Seek a variety of these. Let your only goal in this task be to surpass your own best creation. I have come upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord. Let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth.
healthy seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. get for you this could be very useful glad to replenish your stock could help you in your travels. All done. I'm off. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. <laughs> Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride-to-be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it, but you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is... The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men Protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king. Secure his throne, well so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruet's clan. But between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your... flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! She called us blessed! Limp, weak, soft. Ridiculous! Absurd! Bye, young days. <laughs> to be so cool and big again. 
Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be, Valdis. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance, nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. <laughs> Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader he is not. Still, of everyone I have met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently.
Troll curse corruption lurks here. What do you see, Sunan? Hide and hunt is a true warrior's game. It is good that you play it. Then play with us. This lot's easy, but you'd be hard to find. Go hide with the others. After the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone, go hide. Stay in the village.
am getting closer. Giant, you won the game. Children, play well and stay warm. Warriors game. In these times, even children must hide from two-legged wolves. Get ready for hide and hunt, everyone! 